Isaiah chapter 66 verses 10 to 14. Behold, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, thus says the Lord. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her. Exult, exult with her. All you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully, suck fully. Of the milk of her comfort. That you may nurse with delight. At her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord. Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river. And the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms. And from her lap. As a mother comforts her child. So will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice. And your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. God used Isaiah to call Judah back to God and to point to God's plan for salvation through the coming Messiah. Today's reading can be dated to between 700 and 681 BC. In Isaiah's prediction of the coming Messiah, he states in chapter 53 verses 5 and 6 the following, Whereas he was being wounded for our rebellions, crushed because of our guilt, the punishment reconciling us fell on him, and we have been healed by his bruises we had all gone astray like sheep, each taking his own way, and Yahweh brought the acts of rebellion of all of us to bear on him. As you can see Isaiah passed on God's words with astounding accuracy. Today's reading was written from the pre-exile perspective. Jude lost the time of peace because of their refusal to follow the Lord's word. God promised that all that Judah lost because of their sin will be recovered. Jerusalem was besieged and a number of cities were captured. Jerusalem was spared only by their defeat of the Assyrians. Nevertheless, the invasion brought massive suffering to the kingdom, and, and many of its people were carried away as captives or massacred. Chapter 66 is the last chapter in the book of Isaiah and a hymn of thanksgiving, a message of hope that once the people returned to godly way the restoration would take place. All the people of Israel will rejoice in Jerusalem just as a mother rejoices in a child. A time of peace will come upon Jerusalem and the wealth of the nations will flow into her like a downpouring rain or overflowing river. In this passage God is compared to a mother who is and will comfort her child. God is telling us that he is not only a strong almighty God and father, but also acts 